Okay. What's up guys? My name is Michelle Reynoso. Welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. Wait, no. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Michelle Reynoso. Welcome to my first ever ever YouTube video. I have been wanting to start a YouTube channel for years now and it was honestly something that I thought I wanted for myself but God had revealed to me that he was the one that put it on my heart and when I was in high school I wanted to start a YouTube channel but I wanted to do it on like completely different I wanted to go like a completely different direction with it, but God wanted to use it for his glory and I want to use it for God's glory. So, and I really believe that God put this channel on my heart for a reason. In this video, I will be talking about my testimony, how I came to know Jesus, how God came into my life and just completely transformed me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share my testimony as my first video. I feel like that will really help you guys get to know who I am, how I even came to know who God was, when he came into my life, how did I hear his call, his voice, um, where was I at the time, who was I at the time, and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you please share it, like it, and comment, and I'd be happy to respond to your guys' messages. Um, I'd really appreciate it as that is what will help support my channel. Let's get right into this video. So we'll go ahead and start at around high school, but a little background, a little context before I start talking about my life in high school. Um, growing up, I never grew up in like a religious home or we never went like every week to church or anything like that. We believed in God, like we knew he was real. Um, we would pray to him like once a year whenever things would get bad, but it wasn't like we had a genuine relationship with him. It was kind of just like we would go to him whenever we would need him. I grew up going to, I believe, like three different kinds of, um, churches. So I went to a Catholic church a few times, like once a year with my family. Um, I went to Christian churches, I believe only like two or three that I can remember and again those were like we went one time or we would go a few times like every now and then and like never apply anything we re we hear or anything like that and then I also had went to a Jehovah's Witness church or congregation whatever they call it and somehow for some reason even though I had never gotten talked to about who God was I didn't understand who he was or the Bible even, never even opened my Bible. Um, I just kind of had this sense of like, I know I want to follow God and be devoted to him one day. And I was a little girl thinking these things. And even as a little girl, for some reason, I was exploring my faith, should I say. And I would go to those different churches. There was just something about walking into a Christian church setting and this isn't talking about religion or comparing religions or anything like that but again when i would walk into the atmosphere of a christian church i just felt such a beautiful presence literally just walking in through the doors not even sitting down yet all the times i have gone to a christian church not knowing who god was anything like that i just felt this beautiful presence that would just kind of like hug me and my eyes would get teary-eyed, but in a good way. I feel like if I was where I was supposed to be. So after having explored different churches, different um, belief systems and whatnot, I kind of like stopped and gave up on that whole pursuit and search. When I got to like middle school, should I say? Um, so in middle school, I became a little rebel kid i was hanging out with the wrong crowd i didn't know who i was and i was trying to fit in with everyone around me i remember i tried um smoking weed for the first time i think was seventh grade yeah i think it was seventh grade my mindset was changing a lot too from like 
starting to lie a little bit and it was growing into more lying into hiding more stuff behind my family's back into um later turned into drinking and whatnot and just further and further just digging myself deeper so i remember freshman and sophomore year it was more so freshman year was one of the loneliest years of my life so i started looking for a relationship and even though i knew i didn't need one i wanted to per look for one anyway because i thought that that's what i was missing and then also with friends i went through so many friendships and lost a lot of friends because i honestly just couldn't find friends that wanted the best for me i was like dang i i can't keep friends what is it i remember just being so sad during that time i would post like the saddest like tweets or whatever because i used to have a twitter i would just be so overwhelmed with this like void and i didn't know what it was i could not pinpoint what it was fast forward to junior year i had met this guy and when we started dating um we just started partying and just doing things we weren't supposed to be doing hanging out with the wrong crowd again um and it really just changed my personality completely i thought that who i was when i was partying drinking smoking hanging out with certain people i thought that's who i was but in reality i was just conforming to the people around me because again i wanted to escape that feeling of loneliness and i felt like wow i finally found a place where i belong i remember just this relationship to begin with was not a good idea. I wanted to rush into something that God did not want for me because I didn't want to wait on God. I didn't want to wait and trust on his plan. And again, I didn't know who God was and something deep down inside of me told me, this isn't right. What are you doing? What you want to settle for? Is this the life you want to settle for? As I was getting these thoughts and these convictions, I chose to ignore them because again, I was just running away from dealing with what I had going on inside. And so when I thought that's who I was, I would dress a certain way, talk a certain way. I had, I constantly had this pressure of, I need to measure up. I need to be this pretty. I need to act this way or else people won't like me or else I won't be enough. And I just constantly battled with not feeling like enough. So then um, I remember being at parties and it felt so out of place. And even though like I had friends and a boyfriend and I had all these things, I still could not get, shake this feeling of loneliness or this hole that I had deep inside of me. I would have moments with God where I would cry in my room and give my heart to him and say, God, I'm ready now. Like, it's time. I repent. Forgive me. And then I would just fall right back into temptation and do the same thing over and over again. And I would just feel so bad about myself. And I felt such shame and condemnation. And I found myself thinking things I was never, I never thought I was capable of thinking. I found myself wanting to go even deeper into sin. When I was around 18, 19, I went to ADC and sure enough, I took a pill I once every day at ADC, so for three days. There would be moments where I would just kind of like look around and I would just feel um, like a darkness there. When I was at these parties doing all these wild things, I remember just feeling like something was telling me to not do it and I would always hear growing up this whisper and it wasn't like a physical whisper like I could hear it right here these two words would always pop up in my head and I knew it was God I would always hear the words come home I knew it was God and I chose to just keep ignoring him because 
I just thought to myself, no God, I'm not ready. I want to experience more. I don't want to stop now. Later, I'll come to you when I have tried everything, when I have lived through so many crazy experiences, then I'll come to you, then I'll be ready. But right now, I, I want to... I want to do things my way, I want to have fun. And then I would go to that party or go to that rave or try this drug or drink this or have sex. Fast forward to when I was 19 after EDC, um, I just really felt it in my heart that it was time. And I told myself, because I was thinking things I should have never been thinking or wanting to get deeper in my sin further than I already was, I I told myself if I don't stop now then later I'm gonna dig a hole so deep that it's gonna take me so much to get out of it it's just smarter to just stop right now while I can I knew I was I knew I wasn't gonna be missing out because I had experienced all these things and yeah they were fun yeah they were enjoyable at the time but they didn't satisfy me and if anything they left me more empty than before and i was really just hungry and thirsty for something more i would ask myself constantly is there more to life than this there has to be more i was just done with feeling empty with feeling lonely despite having all the things that i thought were going to fill me up i was just i was done so i finally cried out to god and was like God, it's time now. I'm ready to go all in. I'm never looking back. And, and then God came into my life and he showed me a better way. He kept whispering. He never gave up on me. I started looking for a church and um, I was Googling some. I didn't know any Christians, so I was basically on this journey on my own. But I had God. I was following his voice. And I, one of my friends had invited me to a church here where I live. And I went to go check it out one Sunday and I went with my sister. So we started going to church together. And that first time that I went, I just felt so at home. I heard God say, welcome home. And he welcomed me with open arms. He didn't hold my past against me. Instead, he wrapped me in love, compassion, and mercy. I still look back at all those times when I said no to him and he didn't give up on me and he still pursued me and he still wanted me. When I had heard welcome home and when I was at church, I just felt like I finally found what filled my soul. I finally felt true, perfect love. And 2019 i decided to get baptized at the church that i was going to and me and my sister actually got baptized together which is so exciting i was just ready to dive in with god i was ready to go all in and started serving others that's what made me the christian that i am today that's what made me a follower of jesus was serving other people loving on other people learning to be patient to grow with people to forgive people. I've relied on the Holy Spirit to guide me every step of the way, following God's voice, trusting in Him, going to Him for perfect love and not the world. If you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, dang, I relate to some of the things she's talking about. I feel empty, I feel lonely, then that is not an accident. You are not feeling that for no reason. You are feeling that because all of us, all human beings have a void and the only thing that can fill that void is Jesus. Believe me, this is coming from a person who was wild, was crazy. I have seen God change the lives of so many people, of people that other people would overlook, of people that you would give up on, yet God changed their lives. God transformed my life. God really just made me into a new person and i know if he can do it for me he can definitely most definitely do it for you the only way to true satisfaction to true fulfillment to love that this world cannot give you is god himself the one thing i am sure of in this life the one thing that i can stake my life on is that 
the only answer is Jesus. Trust me, there is no relationship that can top his love. There is no earthly treasures, fame, fortune that can ever outweigh his love. Go to God and he'll do the rest. You come to God as you are and God will do the rest. God will change your heart and he will clean out your heart and you will see that God is patient to help you deal with your struggles and whatever you may be facing. I have people in my life that can testify that I'm not who I was before. God has truly helped me grow in so many areas and I really believe that he can do that in your life as well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my testimony video. I really hope it impacted you in any way, shape, or form. I really believe that you didn't click on this video on accident. If you have any questions on how to start a relationship with Jesus, how to give your life to Jesus, or you've probably given your life to Jesus and you don't even know what it's like to follow him, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I would be happy to help you guys, to guide you guys, to the one who can guide every area of your life. If you would like to see more faith-based videos like these, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you can be updated when I post a new video. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.